Also this week on RT International, a Soyuz space capsule blasted off with the International Space Station in a rare two-man mission. A veteran Russian cosmonaut and a NASA rookie will join three other crew members aboard the orbiting science lab. Emily Sue brought us this report from the launch facility in Kazakhstan. Here at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, we're literally just seconds away from blast off. Looks like this moment we've all here been waiting for is just about to happen. Let's take a look. Blast off. During my stay here, I also got a chance to see that rocket you saw just blast off into the sky there up close. And also, I chatted with the astronauts to discuss the details of their mission as they made their last minute preparations. Here's a report I filed earlier. Behind me is the Soyuz rocket. For the first time in years, the capsule will transport not three, but two crew as Russia trims down its manpower on the International Space Station. Leading to the big question what will be in that $70 million empty seat instead? We're carrying some uh, cargo up to the station in that third seat. Uh, and I know I speak for Fyodor when I say if we could figure out how to fit Larissa and Elizabeth in that seat, that's who we'd take with us. But when we asked Elizabeth, the wife of NASA flight engineer Jack Fisher, if she'd jump on board, she didn't seem too keen. If the Sokol suit didn't squish me into such a small seat, I would consider it. But I get claustrophobic. <laughs> Commander Fyodor Yurichikin hopes to make the Russian fermented milk product Kefir in zero gravity to help sustain crews on extended space missions in the future, such as to Mars. So it's, uh, Making Kefir on board the International Space Station in zero gravity is a unique experiment. This is his fifth journey into orbit, but it's a first for the NASA astronaut. And he's definitely more excited than anxious. How I feel right now, it doesn't feel real. Uh, tomorrow, I might freak out a little bit when I see the rocket. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> Soyuz rockets have been the Russian space industry's workhorse from day one, when pioneer Yuri Gagarin reached for the stars in 1961. Decades later, it's the turn of Russian commander Fyodor Yurchihin and NASA flight engineer Jack Fisher's turn to make their 4,000 kilometer journey to their zero gravity home. And they're still reporting from the Baikonur Cosmodrome for RT. Thanks for sharing your Sunday with us here on RT International. Coming up next on this network, the story of a professional hitman who worked for Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar.